Well, guys, we're here once more. Um, sorry about not posting much. Like I said, I'm kind of busy. Um, tile floors. I got a retaining wall that's going to go up. I got a gate that I'm building. Well, actually, technically, my son. But I'm like the manager. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, uh, I'm actually going to... I already replaced some seals on the... Uh, on the bug, on the Type 4 motor. Uh, seals as in like these kinds of seals for the pushrod tubes. Yeah, those seals. Anyways, so I have these right here. So what's happening is that I'm losing a lot of oil, actually. Losing a lot of oil because it turns out the seals, these seals are all chewed up. They're chewed up. Let me, sh let, me, let me show you real quick. See, right there, see how chewed up they are? Ah, went out of focus figures. There you go, see how, okay, these two on this, on this edge right here, these two, these two were like, like, this is where I was losing a lot of oil. The other side, I believe it's the same way, so I haven't done the other side because I'm kind of busy. I don't have time for it. So, but uh, the inner ones that go into the block, they were fine. It was the ones that go into the head, they got chewed up. It turned out there's a reason for that. Just watch the video and you'll see why these things were all chewed up. There's a there's an easy fix, so you might want to watch the video. Also, um, in the future, I am going to remove it and replace the valve guide, which I got plenty of those. Okay. Anyways. Uh, I got some standards, some oversized, just in case we have to go a little crazy. And I have to replace my bushing on the uh, clutch for the throwout bearing. This is from CB Performance. So I have to remove the engine, obviously, for that also. So, so when I take care of the head for the worn out valve guide, we're going to go into here and actually repair that. Right now, I don't have time. I have... I, my life is kind of complicated right now. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Yeah, you know, the KISS formula, right? Keep it simple, stupid. But sometimes things just get a little complicated. So, anyways, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's go to it and uh, see what I did yesterday. Because, yeah, it's a different day. Uh, these are actually very simple to remove. The, the uh, push rods, tubes. Just grab a plier and... Okay, so this is a Type 1 motor, right? Okay, so you basically just grab some pliers and you just go like this, grab the grab the tube and use this edge as a wedge. Do not squish too hard or you're going to collapse the, the tube. You're going to have to get new ones. So anyways, you grab it and you just do this. So Type four push rod tubes. I'm replacing the um, these guys. They don't feel dry or anything like that. They feel very pliable. Uh, I'm dripping a lot of oil. Now, I'm not really sure if this is the cause of me burning a lot of oil or dripping a lot of oil. So, I figured I'd change the uh, the seals. This guy and this guy. They're different sizes because. One of them is small, this is small, this side is a lot bigger. And um, I, I, these things are very pliable, I don't see why they should be failing. Oh, never mind. There's a nasty nick right there. Okay, that's probably why this one was leaking oil. Alright, maybe this one, same deal? No, this one looks pretty good. Alright, so... I'm going to replace these. Um, you don't have to take your motor off or anything like that. They just, you know, they're inside the engine like yay, right? And you grab some pliers from here, from the bottom. And you use your motor as a wedge and pull it out with the pliers. And just go boop. And they come out through the head. Okay, so we have those two out. I have them already set over here. Prepped to go back in. Um, what I noticed on these heads... Right there, that little lip, you can barely see that little lip. Super duper sharp, like razor sharp, like I cut my finger. Here, 
and here. And I noticed that the the seals were getting cut right in this general area right there. Uh, the ones that I took from here, I mean, they were butched. I mean, literally butched. And that's why I was losing a lot of oil through there. Uh, the other side, I actually see oil like, you know, whatever. Anyways, so what I did is I just grabbed some sandpaper and actually just, you know, deburred them. Deburred them. Now they're like nice and smooth. I can go like this and it won't cut me. I mean, I can go like this now and it won't cut me. Before, if I just went like this, it would literally cut my finger. Uh, both of these so now they're nice and smooth so a nice transition and that actually you know I did clean all the surfaces because they were really grungy up here like I couldn't get it off so with the sandpaper it all took it off same thing over here now let's see if I can get up a look they're nice and clean woohoo so these are ready to go back in so uh, I still have to clean the very back of that guy and that guy uh, the engine block before I put it in and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in yeah something like on right now I did not know that that you could lose a seal because of this those actually went in perfectly I didn't see any anything come out come out you know like uh, pieces of uh, flash uh, coming out from the seal so those hopefully will not leak <laughs> oh, but I just learned this right now so now you know now make sure they don't have that sharp edge right here sand them off if you if they do I'm gonna go ahead and Clean the back and put these on. Okay. There she goes. I went ahead and uh, made sure it went into the block a little bit. So. so gotta make sure it's still there. Yeah, it is. That's it. That's one. Let's do the other one. Socket. It kind of helps to have the socket. Okay. It's in. That's it. She's in. Alright. See how easy that is? Just goes right in. Alright. There she is. See. There's nothing coming through right there. It's perfect. All right. Either of them. They're nice in the... And the back... Looks pretty darn good to me. Good enough for gum work. So, the leaks that were here, which were massive, they're all taken care of. The funny thing is that I still have to take this head off to fix the valve guide that's on here, because it's worn out. Okay, so... It's all assembled. So I was just going to check this. Um, this one goes at 6. See if I can get that thing to focus on this thing. Um, it's basically uh, 0 .006 uh, for the intake. And there should be a slight drag. Yeah. There is. So that one's good. So I don't have to adjust it. It's still perfect. It hasn't changed. This one. Oh, there you go. Slight drag. Perfect. Uh, do this when it's cold. Don't do it when it's warm. Or your values will not be the same when it's cold. Almost forgot. Uh, I was at TDC when I did this, okay? Also on this side. I did it when it was at TDC. So, um, that's pretty much it. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm going to put the valve cover back on. Perfect. All right. She's good. 
This side is done. I'm going to do the other side. I'm not going to show you that because it's basically the same thing. So, I did my best today. A very short video on uh, the push rod tubes, how to take them off uh, and then re reinstall them and how to troubleshoot <laughs> So that your seals don't get all chewed up when you put it in, you got you're gonna you're gonna get another leak, right? So now you know about the sharpie thingy on the on the head. Uh, that is pretty much it, you know. You guys have a good one. All right, all right. Adios muchachos. Adios muchachas. Later, dudes.